हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर बी कुशवाहा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिवीजन ऑफ टी बी सी सी एफ बी एस सी एंड ए एच एट स्कॉस जम्मू वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ यू नॉट सब्सक्राइब द माई चैनल सो कैंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आईकॉन फॉर द फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन सो टूडे वी हैव अ केस ऑफ सर्टिक रोलिथियसिस इन टू एंड हाफ मंथ्स ओल्ड मेल काउ काफ इट हैज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ एनूरिया फ्रॉम द लास्ट सेवन डेज and uh, has been treated uh, by the local veterinarian with the lasix injection so right now you could see there is a rupture of the bladder because you can see the fluid thrill and bilateral distension of abdomen also so in the previous video which i have uploaded for the urethral rupture so you could see uh, here in case of the urinary bladder rupture so scrotum is normal and this prepuce is all this is normal so because the urine is accumulated in the peritoneal cavity not in the ventral region just below the penis or in the prepucial region so for the treatment purpose uh, so definitely we will go for the left paramedian laparotomy and then remove the urine and then repair the urinary bladder that is we go for the cystography and they perform the tube cystotomy so for the confirmation of the rupture in the bladder you can go for the paracentesis abdominis so you take the 16 gauge hypodermic needle or 18 gauge hypodermic needle you could see this is the 18 gauge hypodermic needle this is the sterile one so you take and fold like this and then in the paramedian region you just prick so you could see there is a free flow of the uh, this is the fluid so this fluid is nothing it is a urine so if somebody if uh, ask how you can say this is the urine so there are several way to say that this is urine one is the as per the history because there is a urea so definitely uh, the more chances that it be a urine and second you go for the biochemical estimation you just take the this sample and estimate the blood urea nitrogen and creatinine and also estimate the blood urea nitrogen and creatinine in the blood so if the the concentration or if the level of the blood urea nitrogen and creatinine is more than two times in this fluid so this is the confirm that this is the urine nothing else and second you can also take a 5 ml of this fluid in the test tube and you just keep over the flame if there is a ammonium smell in the fume so that is also indication that this is nothing it is a urine so it is also a better that uh, we leave as such just to slowly and slowly drain the this fluid so that during the operation when you keep the animal in recumbency so there uh, would be a less pressure over the diaphragm so to perform the tube cystotomy uh, we need a analgesia up to the mid part of the abdomen so for that i used to go under the lumbosacral spinal analgesia so for induction of lumbosacral spinal analgesia so this is the lumbosacral space this is the last lumbar this one is the sacral i have already uploaded the video on this uh, in a goat you could see that video also so first i desensitize the skin make a wheel here 8.5 ml and then wait for the few second so once the this lumbosacral space desensitized by the wheel so we identify the space between the lumbar and sacral and then take the this 3.81 cm long hypodermic needle and then insert in the center so direction of needle is very very important sometime if deviated so there will be no cerebral spinal fluid i could see the csf in the hub
now it's coming so this indicated that the vivel of the needle in the cerebro spinal fluid so now i will give the 1.5 ml lignocaine hydrochloride solution and then we So now uh, the animal fell down. So this is the effect of the lumbosacral spinal analgesia. So effect come immediately. And now I have prepared the, this animal. We uh, place this animal in the right lateral recumbency with the abducted uh, this hind limb. So if the unibladder has ruptured, so what happened uh, by the nature? So unibladder retrieved and it become collapsed and goes back into the pelvis. Cavity. So, for the if the cases is if the unibladder ruptured case, then we make the incision in the caudal paramedium here. If it is intact for normal tube cystotomy, then we give here because unibladder distended up to this level. So, this is the basic difference. If the tube cystotomy, if your intention to perform in cases of the intact unibladder, you give the incision in this region. If the unibladder ruptured, so give the incision a bit caudal. So I make incision here. So you could see there is no pain. <coughs> so this is the subcutaneous tissue. And this is the aponeuritic part. This uh, this white glistening structure is the aponeuritic part, and this is the rectus abdominis. So I am going layer by layer dissection. So now you could see this is the peritoneum. So for the identification, this is the skin, this is the subcutaneous tissue, very thin. This one is the aponeuritic part of the three abdominal muscles, and this one is the rectus abdominis. So this is the rectus abdominis, this is the aponeuritic part of the three abdominal muscles, external, internal, and torsions, and this is the Peritoneum. So normally peritoneum visible is seen uh, white, but here it is seems bluish just because the urine is basically in this. So when I make an incision, if I give the hair step incision, definitely urine would come. So we our intention is to remove the urine slowly and slowly. So you could see the very clear urine. So just to avoid the shock, so we'll try to evacuate the this urine with this pressure. Otherwise, if I make the more incision, so definitely it come very fast, but that may cause the shock. Another way to diagnose the whether this fluid is urine or something else. So you could see here, this is the foam formation. So this foam formation, so this foam formation is clear cut indication that okay, this is the urine, nothing else. So now I make an incision a bit larger. So I just extend. So now you could see the flow of urine. So in ruminants, uh, bladder uh, would rupture normally in 72 to 96 hours. If you have not given any medication, particularly the uh, this uh, frusemide or Lasix. But if you give the Lasix, so that will hasten the process of uh, cystorexis, that is rupture of noni bladder. 
so whenever uh, if you give the lasix so care should be taken that uh, uh, there uh, must be some dribbling of the urine from the normal opening otherwise in case of complete obstruction there is no fun of giving lasix I will try to give the fluid rapidly. So minimum 20-25 liter fluid this urine you can expect in such animal. So try to evacuate the urine from the peritoneal cavity completely. Here I trimmed this hair that's why it, it seems that I have not scrubbed the hair but this is basically with the trimmer I trimmed and properly make this area aseptic. Immunity bladder. So this is the immunity bladder. This is the ventral ligament, and these are the two lateral ligament, which is nothing. It is basically remnant of the two umbilical artery. So since uh, there is no clear cut. Uh, rupture seen here but if you see carefully I have examined the neck area so there is no tear in the ventral as well as the this ventral as well as the dorsal area so but one necrose area here in the region of here so this one is the probable that this is the ruptured area you could see here so this is the some sort of so this is the some sort of the subserous structure here now you could see once I rupture this one so this is the necrose area and from here the urine so we just repaired this area this is the totally empty but you yeah you can see now so this is the ruptured area so before uh, suturing this one first uh, we will insert the tip of the foliage catheter in the immunity bladder so for the tips you me you have already seen the procedure i have uploaded 
in the goat so this is the how we make the tunnel past the straight artery force from the incision site and then make like this grab the tip of the polish catheter this is 18 gauge polish catheter so here we have the liberty to insert without stellate because it is ruptured so here so we insert other than the this one we should never insert the polish catheter from the ruptured side so we insert from the lateral side or from the dorsal side so it's better to insert from here so we just make a small nick here and if it goes like this then it's okay otherwise take the this one then insert so we hold the this tip of the bladder with the back of forceps now give the two zero suture material then here we have to infuse the 20 ml normal saline solution to inflate the balloon So we make a persisting suture here around the police catheter because it is loose here. In some textbook, it is recommended as a mandatory steps. But it is up to the surgeon if you feel that okay there is much space around the catheter so you should go for the persisting otherwise there is no need in fact So now we'll repair the ruptured side. This one. So this is not complete. This is some sort of subterrus rupture. Hold like this. With this one. So if the such type of rupture if it is on the dorsal surface so even you can avoid because once the you put the college catheter inside the immune bladder and urine flow through the catheter ventrally so this dorsal side being a independent part it heal automatically. So we just cover this 
necrosed, partially necrosed this area. So this is how we, how we have repaired the small ruptured area. Release that one. Okay. So now you just. So now you can see this is the balloon which we have inflated. So this is present at the tip of the Foley's catheter. tip of the this catheter so you could see this is the balloon and there is a little space around that one so this is the we have done procedure and the next one is simply disclosure of the the protomy incision so we try to put the half to one liter normal saline in the abdominal cavity so that whatever the remaining urine which is now difficult to remove unless and until you have the suction pump just to dilute so the urine we put the normal saline solution so this is just to dilute the remaining urine which is still present in the peritoneal cavity So ruminants are very resistant to this rupture in the bladder because of the they have the capacity to recycle the urea. Otherwise, if the same happen in the small animal dog and cat, it's very difficult to manage. So we repaired the urinary bladder with the two zero polyglactic 9 tent now we are going to repair the, this leprotomy incision with this is the number one polyglactic So this is the rectus abdominis, this one is the peritoneum, this is the peritoneum of other side, this is rectus abdominis and this is the aponeurotic part. So we take the up to the aponeurotic part in a single bite. Release this one little bit so that when you pull so 
aponeurotic parts should be close together during the suturing since i have separated just to show the anatomy of the different structure otherwise there is no need while doing a laparotomy to separate the this structure try to yes this one is the right way now you could see the different structure i am holding with the forceps individually now we cover the this way care should be taken uh, while suturing the this layer that the needle bite the tip of the needle should not anchor in the the pierce the catheter which is inside the partially inside the abdominal cavity and then the remaining in the umbilical bladder because in the pipe it has the small tube for the balloon and in the urinary bladder it has the balloon so suppose even if the tip of the needle punctured the balloon so the balloon would rupture and then the anchoring of the forest catheter will be under the question we have closed the this laparotomy incision we have applied subcutaneous now the skin suture we will apply and you could see here there is a dibbling of the urine from here and some crystal is also coming through this urine but uh, with the tube histotomy we have not removed the this calculi which is present in the urethra because the umbilical bladder rupture secondary to the urethral obstruction so this tube histotomy helps in relieving the stone from the urethra within a few days
so in this way we have completed the tips stop me procedure uh, in the case of a ruptured humani bladder you could see here uh, we have given the distal protomy incision in the caudal paramedian uh, region so we have repaired this one and we have make the this extra portion of the foley catheter in loop fashion and we have anchored with the abdominal wall so now the post operative complication uh, so about the post operative complications the most common complication is plugging of the fenestration which is at the tip of the foley catheter with the debris and strand here sebulous calculi so there is a no dribbling of the urine from this side so in that case we advise to not to flush with the normal saline solution 21 normal saline solution so this is the one common problem and after that uh, there are certain things we should advise to the owner because the animal is not hospitalized here so we should advise so for removal of the urethral calculi so we advise owner to plug the this exit by the tying the this exit so that what happened once you tie it so there is a accumulation of the urine in the urinary bladder and then it make the thrust and within the 2 to 3 days the calculi which is in the urethra they shrink in the size since the most of the calculi they are in the sebulous form so they dislodge from the urethra so when we remove the cal uh, this uh, catheter once the urine you can say resume the normal flow from the this normal opening so then we remove the this foley catheter so for removal first we remove the uh, fluid which is we have inflated in the balloon and then we simply remove this suture and remove it so that is about the complete procedure of the tube cystotomy so thank you for watching this video and if you like this video so kindly share with your friends and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you very much